Hello everyone, this is Brian Brown from the College of Education and today we're going to be looking at a brief tutorial on how to do two things. First we're going to talk about how to import your assessment templates and the second one is we're going to use those templates to send assessments to our courses. So the first thing we need to do is sign in to TK20 And so when you sign in, you end up with uh, four tabs on the left-hand side over here, Home, Artifacts, Courses, and Portfolios. So where we need to go is to Courses. And when it loads up, you immediately go to the Courses, My Courses, and it shows any courses that you might be teaching this semester. If you want to go to previous semesters, you can look under uh, Previous Courses. So where we're interested at right now is we need to look in My Templates. If you click on my templates, it goes immediately to the assignment and project templates. And if you'll notice here, I don't have any templates on my local account. So what I need to do is go to the global template library and import a template. So I'm going to go to libraries and it immediately loads up to the standards library. I'm not interested in the standards library. I need to go to templates down here. So under libraries, templates. So that's courses, libraries, templates. And then I have a list of all of the global templates that are available to me. I'm going to search because the one I'm looking for is actually entitled secondary. It's part, at least in the name. And the one I'm looking for in particular is the secondary and EC12 lesson plan assignment 2016. In order to add this to my local templates, I'm going to select the checkbox. And then I click the star. And if I hover on the star, it says make available. So I click that. And it says, I get a message that says the selected templates have been added. So now when I go back to my templates, there it's there. So now I want to send this template to a course. Now if you remember, I have one course. So we're actually not going to go to courses, though. We're going to go to coursework. So under courses, coursework, and it comes up to the assignments. And so I've already sent this assignment once. Um, so that's why it shows up here. Otherwise, it would blank but I'm going to go to under assignments there's a send selection and now my courses show up so I only have one course if you're teaching five or six courses or three courses those will all show up right here I'm going to select the course I wish to send the assignment to and I click next now if I have five or six templates or ten templates imported into my templates they will all show up here you have to Find the one that you need, and I'm going to select that. I only have one that shows up because I've imported only one. I select Next. This is where I have additional assessors. If you add assessors to an assignment, please email tk20 at uta.edu and make sure that those assessors have been added to the course because even if you add them to the assignment, they can't get into the course unless they've been added to the course. So this is really true for our instructional coaches uh, is where this really comes into play. So it's one thing to add them right here by clicking the plus and selecting the people. It's another one for them to actually be able to get into the, the course in order to be able to see the assignment. So I'm going to select myself as the assessor. I click next. And on this page right here, now I can give it a name. I'm going to call it the lesson plan assignment. I'm going to give it a due date and time. Make it due the 31st and I always choose at 11.55 at night. And then I can select it to send an email or not. There are some advanced options that allow you to do some different things. You can make it send at a specific date and time. So if you don't want to send it right now, you can schedule that. Um, you can also automatically set this up to send a course to students who enroll in the course after the time that you sent the assignment. This was not always true in previous versions of TK20, so this is something that was added with version 8, which is the graphite version. We're actually on 8.2, I believe, which is the most up-to-date version of TK20 at the time that I've created this video. So I'm actually going to 
leave this advanced options alone and I'm not going to send an email and I'm not actually going to send this because I've already sent this assignment but normally you would click send. I do like to send an email when I do it that way your students get an email saying there is a place in TK20 for you to upload your assignment. Thank you for watching.